Hello everyone, today we're going to look at this pot welder I bought from Aliexpress. Uh, so I got it without any of these copper wirings, so I made these adapters. That's why my hands are so dirty and uh, I have two XT60 connectors over here. And it's two of them because I'm using these uh, <coughs> 4S 14.8 volt batteries. They are 10C and uh, I'm using two of them in parallel. I'm, I'm not sure if they're enough but that's what I have in hand right now. And uh, these adapters I made it's for this one. Uh, this is uh, this one came with this pot holder that I bought from Amazon but this is not a very strong one sadly and uh, I think I can just this pot will up to 1.5 0 0.15 millimeters yeah but even then it's not a good in a strong weld so <coughs> I actually bought this first uh, from Aliexpress and they said that they were going to ship this from uh, uh, France and they would come on 17th of August but basically, well, they were lying it didn't come on 17th of August it came today which is 10th of September so I think they were shipping this from China they just like lied to us okay, let's see how it performs so I'll just hook it up to the batteries um, and uh, I made sure that the batteries the batteries are in the same voltage so uh, tank. there you go we have our display that, show, that shows the gear as they call it which gear so it's on the gear one right now uh, I tried a little bit before I started recording, so this is, uh, I tried with some 0 0.15 millimeters of nickel strip and uh, I had some good and some bad wheels. And we will talk about it right now. So there's another one and here's another one. I have two different uh, nickel strips over here. This is a 0 0.15 millimeters uh, nickel strip and this one, no, I'm sorry. This is a 0 0.2 millimeters of uh, nickel strip and this one is 0 0.15 millimeters. Let's see how good it is. So I used this one earlier, but uh, this is not really good uh, it, because it made these big holes. But you know what, let's try this. Let's try this again. So I'll just hook it up over there. And uh, we can begin with uh, 0 0.15 millimeters. Uh, some scissors. Oh, wait. This moved. Maybe like this. And this uh, plate, I don't know if maybe, I think it's iron dust on it. I picked up from the oh, garage. So, gear one. I'm not sure if anything's gonna happen with the gear one, but we should give it a try. So, yeah, I don't know why it's shouting. Uh, three, two, there you go. It made a small and nothing more. I don't know why it's uh, peeping like that. Oops, I'll shake the camera. Uh, but yeah, it uh, kind of attaches to that, but it's not a strong one at all. So I'm gonna try five. I'm gonna increase it to five and give it another try three two one oh, see that's so quick it's like you can uh, soon as you touch it, it maybe takes feels like 0 0.5 seconds like as soon as you touch it it just like sparks hmm it's a okay that was better than i expected uh let's try it again uh, maybe this uh, this end so I'm pressing it actually hard against it, otherwise it would make a spark. So let's try if we can get that one. Uh, not this time. It was actually a pretty decent one. Oh, no, it wasn't. 
and let's try it again. There you go. Oh, there you go. That was the spark I was talking about. And it made a big hole in this. So that's why I was pressing it hard. So it will not make these sparks. And if I do that, it will not make. But I should be really fast. There you go. But yeah, it didn't work well enough. Uh, so let's go on level 10 maybe. 10 and uh, we're on here again, 0 0.15. Here we have 0 0.15 millimeters. So at level 10. I'm not gonna just like hold it slightly. But I have to press it hard, otherwise it will make the sparks as we just uh, saw. So I'm going to press it hard. There you go. And the welds are... Oh, okay. This is a good weld. Now I cannot separate. Oh, the one was bad, but... Ah. And... Did it make a hole? No, it didn't make a hole, but it was really close though. No, it made a hole in this one, my bad. Yeah. So, good weld. Let's try it on a battery. This is a Samsung 18, 18650, but this is a dead cell. And I'm gonna try it on this one. Let's like hold it slightly. Oh, ouch. I don't like it. I'm so scared of this thing. Yeah, and it made a big hole in this nickel strip. Yeah, and it comes off pretty easy. But actually it made a hole in this one too, and I see the remainings of that. I'm not sure if this, it was a good weld. I think it was just like, because of the bad connection, it just made a hole in this. It, not because it was sitting too hard on the battery or on the cell. This time I'm gonna press it hard. Three, two, one. Okay, I think that's, yeah, I could live with that. It's not that we're going to pry it out when we're welding the batteries, but uh, yeah, let's go 15. Okay, level 15. And I'm gonna press it hard. Huh. I mean, it looks nice. Let's see if it holds. Oh yeah, this is good. This was really, really good. Okay, moving on to 0 0.2 millimeters. So here I have the 0 0.2 millimeter necklace strip. So I'm gonna carry into pieces and give it a try. I think we can continue with 15. And this time I'll try to. And again, I will not go, I'll not just like hold it like that, I'll push it hard. I don't know why it's peeping. I really don't know. There you go. So from the underside, it's not visible that much. But yeah, let's see how strong it is. Mm, not that strong. Not strong at all, actually. Moving to maybe 20. So let's give it a try with 20. And this time I'll have this one above. So stop at 3, 2, 1. There you go. Um, yeah, doesn't look bad. Let's see. It's warm though. I mean, it's not hot, but it's warm. Oh, that was easy. Uh, okay. I think maybe the contact surface with the pin, it is too much. So next, this time I will try to hold it with like the edges and not like perpendicular to 
the necklace strip. So I'll just like go this way sideways. It's maybe around 40 degrees. Three, two, one. Huh. Nothing is it's not so visible from underside. Huh. Okay. Okay now. Oh. Uh. That one is a good one. That's really a strong weld. Hmm. Okay. Let's try it on the battery. With 0 0.2 millimeters. Uh, yeah, but that's too small for this one. This is, I think, too wide. I will go on the minus pole. So I'm just like holding from the side in 3, 2, 1. Uh, checking the batteries. Oh, you're fine. This is a good. <laughs> this was a good weld. It. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, yeah, it made a hole in that one. But not this one. But it was still a really strong weld, and I have some debris on the battery. Uh, yeah. So let's change these. Uh, pins with some others that came with this uh, spot welder and see how that performed. Oh my god, this thing is... get off. Oh. Mm. So, and these are the other cables that came with the spot welder. The one that I just showed you. Come on. Things are really tight. No way, dude. Okay, pulling that out is going to be. <sighs> yeah, really tight fit. I think I uh, I drilled that with uh, six point four millimeters drill bits. Yeah, so let's go on the positive pole. This is how let's has let's see what we can do. I'll just like hold it one and again I'm gonna press it down hard and I'll, I'll not just hold it firmly because otherwise it will make the sparks. Uh, yeah, so you know what? Let's make it some sparks. So I'll, I will just like hold it slightly. Oh fuck. Oh sorry for the language, but yeah it's <laughs> It's brutal, and that's why I'm just like trying to hold it firm and not. I'm trying not to hold it firmly. So you see the, yeah, it totally melted the nickel strip, and you see it there, and a very very big hole in this one. So this time I'll try to press it hard, so we don't have these sparks. Three, two, one. Oh no. It was not a, I couldn't press it hard. It already triggered before I could press it hard. But yeah, it was a good weld. I would say a really good weld. Hmm. Let's try it one more time. This time, I'll hold it like this. Oh. There you go, I made it two times this time. Yeah, this is good. This is really good. I don't think if I can weld on this battery anymore. I can do here, but not on the positive pole. Uh, yeah, but the... I actually don't want to even try the level 100. It goes up to gear 100. But I don't think if that my batteries are going to survive gear 100, it will just like... And it will just increase the time, I believe. Oh my god. This for this sparks are going everywhere. But the weld is uh, yeah. Really good. So uh, yeah, we used all these uh, nickel strips. 0 0.15 and 0 0.2 millimeters. And that thing can handle it with ease. And my batteries are good. 
And the bad thing I would say is maybe, yeah, I don't think if I can control, so it, it does not have this trigger, uh, trigger port or what do you call it? So we can have some switch or a pedal to trigger the spot holding. It just like goes automatically. On the paper that it came with, I don't know if I have it with me, let me check. Nah, I don't have it. It's uh, at home and I'm at school. And the paper it came with, it said the trigger is after zero, uh, after two, uh, two seconds. So one, two, then it triggers. But the way I see it, this is way below 0 0.5 seconds. And uh, so, that's it. Have fun, bye.